Okay, you gotta stop moving for like two seconds. Free easy to row! It's not just a surface level trip. It has a great depth to it, but you're not just going to go sit on the beach for 20 days. You're going to get pushed out of your element a little bit, but you're also going to face certain things that you probably weren't expecting. The train is just constantly mind-blowing. There's so much to do in every place. I've had a hard time deciding what my favorite country to visit is, and having been here, it became very obvious that Peru is, is the place to be. Man, I cannot believe how much is with you right now. I would say that this trip pushes the boundaries of exploration in that it is a very active trip. The things that we explore require that you push your own boundaries. It's much more satisfying when you reach a destination and have physically accomplished something that you haven't done before. And the reward is that you see something you've never seen before. And it's worth it. It's a long, hard road to the river of the edge of land to the softest part of the land. And it's lined with stones, tangled in regrets that are just too hard to forget. It's a long, hard road to the river of the edge of the land to the softest part of the land. This line is done, tangled in regrets that are just too hard to forget. And there's rusty signs overlooked on the way to the heart of a troubled lane. You can lose yourself in the deep, bloody roads worn through by the pride of me. my excitement, I can't tell. Pretty fucking awesome, huh? All of the stuff people travel for is right here. If you're really into adventure, if you're into culture and all of the reasons that you want to go anywhere, it's just it's just right there in that neat little package that is Peru. It's got it all. It's beautiful, gorgeous ride. Never done anything like that. <laughs> Pictures can never do anything justice. All the things you see with your own eyes are so amazing that uh, all the pictures in the world just won't do it. You gotta see it with your own eyes, you know? This is amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, I've talked to a few people back home and every time they're like, oh, how's Peru? I'm like, it is amazing. There's so much to see. Every place you go is different. Different scenery, different landscapes, different things to do. So I've loved it. Travel days in Peru, like, you see more of the country and it's like you're in a different part of the world every single time. There's a wild ride there tied to the weight of the bay. She once ran the wind in her hair, beating hard for the love of a man. adventure trip than some of the other ones. It just seems like a lot to be discovered here. I knew there's like big things and big hikes. I thought the best way would just be to come here and see it. <laughs> it's pretty damn high. Not having an expectation is kind of a good thing because there is a little bit of everything for everyone. There's so many different things to do. Peru is a new adventure for me. It's been very cool, very exciting. I think you have to come here and experience it yourself. I think all the places that Free and Easy brought us were pretty legit. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. It's amazing. All the sand is everywhere. It's crazy. So excited. I'm gonna kick you. The diversity. You, know, you turn a corner and you see something different. We're in the desert one day and then the next day we're up in the mountains. It's an adventure trip. There's lots of challenges, but they're very rewarding at the end of it all. You can Incredible. <laughs> Mind blowing. Free and easy is always an amazing way to travel, but Peru is just something totally different. It's incredible, you have to come here.
It definitely draws me in. I think any time that anybody is sort of pushed a little beyond their comfort zone is basically the reason that we're here. That's why we're traveling in the first place. And if you have an opportunity to do something outside of your physical limits that maybe pushes you a bit hard, then I think that's the purpose. And I think Peru offers a lot of that growth as a traveler and as a person. Llamas and Machu Picchu. Who would have thought, eh? What a country.